All right, guys, Carlo here. Um, due to the time crunch, I'm shooting this intro in my car, literally, uh, in Toronto. I'm sick, but it's winter time in Toronto, so I'm pretty sure everyone is sick, but it's not gonna stop me from releasing this episode because it was so dope. I got to sit down with uh, a fellow sneakerhead and serial entrepreneur. Once you see the video, you'll understand why we call him a serial entrepreneur. Uh, not only did Kamaz and me totally kick it on the fact that we both love sneakers and streetwear, but to me, Kamaz's story is pretty much what, what makes Toronto as a city so dope. He wasn't born in Toronto, not even born in Canada. We talked about his whole journey literally around the world and how he ended up in Toronto and how he created ended up creating one of the biggest or the biggest sneaker subscription services in the world. You can check that out at sneakertub.com. And then he kicks it up a notch with uh, kickgrid.com where he, not only does he provide you with sneakers, but then he kicks it up a notch with some some outfits. Like, um, that's pretty sick if you ask me. Uh, he literally created a, a business out of his hobby. And after all the success online, he opened up a real physical store in the heart of the Junction Triangle in Toronto. Address of the shop is 1643 DuPont Street. Check them out when you get a moment. And also peep his Instagram. That's milk underscore Toronto on IG. He's always producing dope content. Check him out and enjoy the show. Peace. I'm sitting here in this weird ass, but dope. I mean, weird in a, in a, in a cool way with Kamaj in the store called Milk. I totally thought it was a dairy store, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, what? everyone does, right? Especially because you can see all the cereal yeah. and like paraphernalia and stuff. But then I walked in here and I was like, holy shit, this is actually a dream setup. Streetwear, sneakers. This is pretty much what my closet looks like, just not this big. And, uh, but yeah, so I'm here with Kamaj. Um, we're just here to learn more about what you do, how you did it. And let's start from the beginning, man. Where are you yeah. from? Uh, so I'm originally from Sri Lanka. Um, okay. Grew up there, so I was in my like late I'd say early 20s um, okay. migrated to not technically migrated like um, went to the UK for to do my undergrads okay uh, finished it went back yeah. to Sri Lanka for like an, another couple of years and yeah Sweet. then I came here I moved here in 2011 I think yeah oh shit yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're I'm, still kind of yeah I'm still new kind of new right? <laughs> but the last seven years in the city has been fucking bananas yeah. I feel like the last seven years is more growth than the last 20 yeah like so, especially, man, like even in this area, like we're at yeah. like Dundas and DuPont, the junction area, like yeah. it, people have been telling me like this place was like crackheads and like hookers yeah. before now. Just it's like, like Liberty Village yeah. was, man. Like back in the day, Liberty Village was uh, a prison. Yeah. So, but yeah, I was surprised, man. So I'm happy that we stumbled upon each other. Another another podcast guest told me about you. He, I swear he said it was a dairy shop too. And then one guy said... No, man, they sell sneakers. And yeah. I was like, what? And then I was like, we got to go over there. So we walked over and that's when I first met you. So Yeah, like when we first opened the store, when I decided to open the store, when I actually signed the lease, we didn't have a concept for the store. Yeah. Um, How long ago was that? I was, we opened in July of this okay. year. So Still we're new. like pretty brand new. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we signed the uh, lease in June, I think, of this year and didn't yeah. have a concept. But, um, but you how it, yeah, how it all started was like, I was thinking of concepts. First, I wanted to call it brick and mortar because, you know, yeah, brick, brick and, and mortar. mortar. Yeah. Um, and then, like, my wife one day was like, oh, we're out of milk. Like, can you go pick up some milk at the store? So I go to the milk store or Walmart or whatever. Yeah, it is, yeah. Blah, blah. Um, and I look at the back wall where, like, all the all the fridges are with, like, yeah. the milk, milk labels. I'm like, whoa, this could be, like, a dope backdrop for, like, something. I didn't yes. even think of a store then, right? Um, and then, um, then I'm like, oh, like maybe I, I'll call the store milk. So yeah. everything else, like kind of just like that. Right? After that. You yeah. weren't high or anything? No, no I, just I don't kidding. smoke, bro. I just, okay, alcohol is my poison. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> in in proper quantities. Like. Yeah, good. Yeah, you're not sloppy or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But that's that's such a dope story, man. And so before the store, you yeah. were already selling sneakers already. I'm yes. assuming. and streetwear because it's not just sneakers in here, but. Sneakers are the staple of streetwear. Yeah, so I started uh, this thing called Sneaker Tub, which was, well, which was, yeah. is uh, the first sneaker subscription service in the world. So cool. no one was doing the loot crate for sneakerheads, yeah. right? Um, so it's sneaker a mystery, tub. yeah, it's a mystery sneaker subscription service where you get like a mystery pair of kicks and other accessories mm. curated for you every month, like Sick. delivered to your door. So started that in 20. 
2016, I'd say, or 2015, late, okay. late 2015, when I got laid off from my job. Um, yeah. Didn't know what I wanted to do. I went for a couple of interviews with people and I had to like convince them to like kind of hire me. But like, I yeah. kind of felt like the person who's interviewing me was like, less qualified than Absolutely. i was and i'm like what the fuck am i doing like trying to tell yeah. these people like oh well, like i'm good for you like hire yeah. me trying to sell yourself yeah stuff, and, it, yeah. and i'm like that's point that's like let me kind of like try yeah. to figure out do my own thing um yeah so like got laid off i worked for that company for five years um i was in film before yeah um, film oh, i was marketing. gonna say where were you what were you doing before uh, i was a marketing manager for this company called e1 entertainment one so they oh, do okay. um they do uh, major theatrical distributions they've done movies like the twilight franchise if you oh, can remember shit. back in the day taylor uh, taylor what's his name uh, i don't know the taylor yeah. and taylors they were dating the yeah, yeah. that's all i remember <laughs> i was like that's weird <laughs> yeah so yeah i worked for their for, for that company for five years um got suddenly laid off like yeah. 40 50 people on my team um, so that when you came to canada we're, and we're all over the place but it's all yeah, good, yeah. Like, cool. you came from to, came to canada from london england i uh, know i came from sri lanka sri so lanka. i was in london for two years went back to sri lanka for a year to okay. try and figure out what I kind of wanted to do after I graduated. Yeah. Couldn't find... What did you go to school for? Uh, I went to school for software engineering, if oh, you sweet. don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Lines know. up perfectly. Bro, like, I don't know <laughs> shit about software. Because it's like, when you're an Asian kid, like growing up like in Sri Lanka, like you only have a few avenues that you can go into, right? Oh, you can yeah. either be like a doctor, you can be like a lawyer, like an engineer, yeah. or like it's IT. Otherwise like your software, parents right? think you're a failure. Exactly. <laughs> right? so, so I did like what I thought was the coolest or what I thought was something yeah. that I'd like, but I hated it. Like four years of school was like torture, bro. Like yeah. the only thing that kind of kept me going was like the design aspect of like- Cool, yeah, you um, liked, you, cause you had an eye for it. Yeah, so like little. graphics, like editing shit, like it's all like like self-taught, like everything yeah. like back here, like the store design, everything like I, I, I did like, it like yeah. uh, with, with my partner, like I have a partner, Jason Bitten, he's, cool. um, he's, he's a good friend, like who worked with me before we yeah. kind of both got laid off at the same time, but um, he came into the business two years after um, Sneaker yeah. Tab. So when I was opening milk, I'm like, dude, like, do you want to go into business together kind of yeah. thing? Um, do you want to buy 600 bucks worth of cereal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we spent like And not eat it. <laughs> not eat it. Uh, yeah, so like from Sri Lanka to England, from England to Sri Lanka and back to here. Um, yeah, so I worked for, I think I, when I first graduated, I, I came here to do like my post-grad studies in film. So yeah. uh, software and engineering to film is like, I don't know. I it's, bet, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, like I graduated here, like worked for this company, interned for them for a year for free nice. without a cent. I, I, I believe you know, in that stuff, man. Yeah, That's how it, you learn. Yeah, it's add up. It, it, the shit adds up, right? And, um, and It's so hard, but... It is, it is. But if you like grind through it, it's yeah. like, you know, you'll see the light at the end Absolutely. of the show. Absolutely. You just learn <laughs> shit that you won't actually learn in school. Yeah. You know, so... I'm a big, I, I started speaking at schools recently and I right. have zero formal education, so it's weird. Right. But um, I'm always fascinated when people go from a job to like, well, let's start some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And how was that transition? Like you got laid off, you're then like trying to sell yourself to somebody you feel like, yeah. yo, fuck this guy. Yeah. Right? And you don't even, know, was, about, you don't even was, know about the next drop next no, week. No, exactly. <laughs> like, Honestly, like the hardest thing is because you don't know like where your next paycheck's coming from. Yeah. Like, like still, you don't know where. Like I don't you know don't. where. Well, yeah. I pay myself, but yeah. You, but it's true. It's like, true. Like yeah, this shit could all fall down tomorrow, right? Like yeah. that's the that's the kind of risks that you take, like as an entrepreneur and like yeah. trying to do. But it's like also it's like oh like I work hard. I work like someone's like trying to take it from me every day. So that's, that's key, man. That's exactly how you have to do it, I guess. Like I never like rest, and I'm like oh like I kind of like made it. Yeah, that's whatever. that's the thing that love not even. Close like yeah. even close to like making it but it's like you, like in the space that we are kind of in like sneaker tab the subscription space it's we fast. were the kind of first to do it yeah um that's so, dope man i love the i want to learn more about it like how do you well one you just sign up online mm -hmm. and what do you do like you then you, so you, you, you curate the stuff so i curate the stuff with like just by myself like you kind of like when a subscriber's with you for like a couple of months you kind of like get the pattern like uh, get what they kind of like yeah so it's they're, oh they're, shit so everyone gets something different oh yeah everyone you're not even sending no. the same stuff like maybe like maybe like the basic packages you kind of get like the shoe of the month kind of thing but yeah. like the the higher the tiers go like you're oh. like it's all customized um that's sick 
So you learn your you learn you yeah. learn your subscribers' styles. Like so I should just stay away from the site because I'm a recovering. Oh yeah, man, you should. <laughs> yeah, just, I, you shouldn't I, even go on you it. You know what I mean? Pairs of shoes I have that I've never even worn or tried on, and I'm sure you're in the same boat. Yeah, before you open like, the shop, it's like people don't get it. People don't understand two things. One, yeah. what you were talking about, how when you own your own store right. or you're running your own business. It never stops. Mm-hmm. Even when you're at home, you're laying in bed, something fucking comes to your head. You're like, oh shit, yeah. I gotta do this. Yeah. Do I do it right now or do I do it later? Blah, right. blah, blah. Like, and you do a little bit and you're like, shit, I'll do the rest later. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I smoke weed. Because I need to <laughs> stop. <laughs> I need to chill. Yeah, I need to like, I, it just doesn't stop, yeah. right? Um, but that and the sneakerhead type mentality right. of like, it's, it's one, it, sometimes it's just really nice to look at, right? I, it's, uh, I consider them as like art pieces. Yeah. They are. So it's, and I'm sure, you know, when you were growing up, the sneaker culture now is crazier. I, I didn't have sneakers growing up, bro. Like, yeah. I, I, I wore like local brands, like maybe like... What's a local brand? Sri Lankan local brand? Um, I think it was like a brand called Power, I think. Maybe it was from India. Okay. They were like basketball shoes, but like really Power. uncomfortable. Yeah. Uncomfortable, really, really uncomfortable. Like <laughs> they were pretty much, they looked pretty much like Ewings. Like if you look at look at the Ewings, yeah, right? like pretty much ones? like that, but like a way less cooler. Okay, um, these are. I had a pair of these. These are pretty uncomfortable. Like not uncomfortable, but they they're. Uh, un- you can't play ball in these. Not no, nowadays. Not nowadays. Like if you compare it to they'll like break. an actual like a basketball shoe, like no. Yeah, they'll break. I had a pair of these. I bought them on eBay with you know selling my, <laughs> my eBay hustle. And then I tried to play ball in them. Yeah. And uh, they're a great looking shoe, though. It, it, yeah, yeah. It, uh, and then they, they broke. <laughs> like they, this crack, this seems better than quality than, than what I have, but everything started cracking. Right. Because uh, these are like the newer like, versions of it. They like yeah, re, better quality um, and stuff. Yeah, they rebought the license or they like, reactivated the license. So they're like making it in, uh, like, who, better, it, better. Who factor. makes these? Um, Ewing is its, its own, own brand. Oh, so it's like Patrick Ewing's shoe. Oh shit! Um, so I think Patrick Ewing was signed to Adidas like back in the day when okay. he was in the league in the yeah, yeah, NBA. Yeah, when he was NBA, killing him, but he was John like, Sarks. "Oh fuck, fuck Adidas! Like I'm making my own shoe yeah. kind of thing." So, the, so it's a original. good like entrepreneur story, yeah. right? But he's not involved with, in Ewing anymore. I don't think so because he uh, he coaches a Jordan yeah. school, so he can't even wear his oh. own shoe. <laughs> That's so awkward yeah. logistically. Yeah, so this guy from the US, like he, um, I think, reactivated the license. Uh, okay, so he a new it. agreement, so that he puts them. Probably not even ballers buying him. They're just. Real, like, no, they're, they're like Ewing heads are like old school guys who yeah, used to like wear Ewing. I would still back rock the these, man. Yeah, but and that, with the whole 90s come up again, like the great looking shoes. Yeah, right? tell me your thoughts well, on that. Wait, I know, right? That, right? I'm definitely like, like five years ago, you you no. wouldn't be dead. I can't <laughs> see Fila, right? It's true, like, it, it's weird. Like, all the stuff we probably grew up similar, right? Where like if my parents would kill me. Right. Find out how much my stuff costs. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. People fucking lose their mind. Yeah. And um, so all the stuff now when I was a kid is now popular and I can afford it all. So yeah. it's weird, yeah. right? Um, and I don't know if you're in the same boat. Like you think of it, you're like looking at it like, man, my parents would never buy me this right. stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I'd just buy it. Like my things, man, I buy what I like. So yeah. if I like Fila, like if I like Fila like two years ago, I'm like, I'm not a big fan of Fila. Like, yeah. And I don't wear it because it's cool again, right? Yeah. Like, Champion, I think it's like fucking champion shirts. Like five years ago, no one would want I them. Know. You'd find them at like a fucking garage sale. Or yeah, whatever, yeah, right? totally. And now it's champions bucks. like cool again, and I don't like champions, so I don't wear it. Yeah. Um, Yeezys is a whole other story. I like Yeezys when they first came out, yeah. but I couldn't get my hands on them because yeah. the hype was like so huge. Right? I know. Like now, I can buy them at retail, now so I buy them. <laughs> yeah. Now he's uh, flooded the market. Yeah. Like I, I wear all types of shit, man. I wear like yeah. Puma, Saucony, like New Balance. Yeah. yeah see, I've always been into that anything, stuff too. Yeah. yeah, yeah totally. But there, I, I can relate to like some brands I just never wore when I was right. a kid. Well, I never liked them, and mm. now they're they're in style. I'm like, I'm still not rocking that. It feels awkward. It feels awkward exactly. to me. Like just because it's trending, I'm I'm still not gonna rock yeah. it. But um, yeah, so tell me a little bit more about the subscription. What's the website? Uh, Sneakertop.com for global. So our main distribution hub is in the U.S. So we ship a lot of stuff to the U.S. Oh shit, um, good. That dollar money like pays yeah, well. Yeah, right? that's sick. <laughs> that man. conversion rate's great. Yeah. Uh, and Canada, we started last year in Canada. Okay. Um, so it's still growing. Yeah. Uh, I'd say about ninety percent of the shipments go to the U.S. Sick. Um, how did you start? Like, how did you get the? Uh, the we talked about the idea. Let, let's talk about the idea. 
Yeah, so I I was a sneakerhead. Always liked sneakers, and yeah. I was a huge like I'm a, I'm a huge nerd. So I like stuff like Nerd Block, Loot Crate, those subscription yeah. boxes. You know software stuff too, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know any software <laughs> stuff, but um, yeah, man. So I kind of wanted to marry the two ideas together, being like, oh, like this is the this is the sneakerheads Loot Crate or lo- the Loot yeah. Crate for sneakerheads, right? So originally before I wasn't sure if it's like a viable idea or if yeah. it will ever work out. So I just didn't sit in my basement like thinking about it. I just made up a website and I put it out. And yeah. that's how it happened. Like so entrepreneurs who are like, you know, yeah. these days who think of ideas, who has a lot of ideas but who doesn't want to take the next step and kind of yeah. do it like my advice to them is like just fucking do it and like yeah. figure it out later right that's that dude I that's, can that's my it. philosophy i say yes <laughs> to everything i figure shit out yeah <laughs> that's the key a lot yeah. of times like even even with this podcast i was like i don't know what we're gonna do i just want to talk to people see where it goes right right and all of a sudden now thousands of dollars worth of equipment and all this shit and this equipment doesn't work so well yeah and everyone's like what are you doing i'm like i don't know we'll see where it goes <laughs> right so but it, it fires me up mm-hmm. you know that's the key like and i haven't felt that way in a long time that's good man um about about a business so yeah, yeah so you got the idea so you got sneakertub.com uh, yeah sneakertub.com. sneakertub and then what did you do to get people to on it so basically i Here's one thing that right. I'm going to interrupt a little bit because I was yeah. just I spoke at a university lab mm-hmm. yesterday and people have this notion and back in the day it could work right. where you open up a website and people would show up but mm-hmm. that's not the case no, no. more it hasn't been the case for a while no. um, so what did you do to get people to visit your store I hit up a lot of sneaker influencers in the nice. space so like yeah. YouTubers who does unboxings so two years ago it was a whole different story they weren't being sponsored by Adidas or Jordan yeah, yeah. back I'm in watching. the day it's tough now to do yeah. it right like but I contacted even YouTubers who had like 10,000 like subscribers it. right not the ones with like 10 million no and shit. like you you work with the little guys and as they grow yes. you grow with them right and they remember you from day one exactly so I don't have a problem having to pay them now yeah right but i kind of want to pay them for the next campaign because they've been fucking with us for free for like a long time so like yeah yeah, next one they'll get kind of paid nice Uh, but yeah like that's that's basically how i grew it sick that's awesome man it's so funny that like what you're saying right now i Mm -hmm. literally was telling uh these students yesterday with the ideas and i was like guys Stop trying to get the people with a million, two million, three million. Because there's so many people with 10,000, right. 20,000. And those people, their, their influence on their group is massive because it's such a tight-knit yeah. community. Yeah. So that's sweet. So then you got these influencers, visit your site, and then yeah. people just started subscribing? Yeah, so I started sending them free shit. They unboxed on their channels and yeah. people just started coming, man. And, I, and that's how I've been actually growing it like for the last two years. It's like all that's influencers. Sick. It's all word of mouth. Like... We do a bit of digital uh, ads, but yeah. not a ton. Yeah. Like we don't spend as much money as we should on them. So like that's probably the, the, the growth phase. in the next next two to three years. That's, that's awesome, um, man. Put a bit of our dollars into it and like build this shit up. I love it. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's, it's just like people think it, like everything happens overnight. Like it's yeah. a long game. Like you're Good, man. fucking like, in this for the long, long I game, love right? what you're saying, man. It's exactly how, what I tell these students or anyone, even old people that want to start a business. But right. I feel like the generation, the younger generation is so like in a hurry. And it's like, guys, like you don't understand. Like it's, yeah, like, it's remember like dial up internet. Oh, of course. Right. Man. Yeah. So people kind of they're not like kids these days they're not used to it anymore they have everything at their fingertips right yeah we all get mad when our internet's like five seconds slow yeah remember (laughs) napster when you had to download a song for like two hours yeah like you leave it overnight right and then then it fucks up you're like fuck i was gonna lose that so like i think like with like technology being what it is today like kids have access to stuff like fast right yeah that's not how life works yeah i like that man that's huge so you're now here do you have you have family here, or is it just you and your wife? Uh, my wife, me, my baby. We just nice. had a baby six months Congrats, ago, so man. thanks, buddy. Holy uh, smokes! It's new new location, new baby around the same time. So when I was here, when my w- wife went into labor, holy cow! <laughs> like contractors were working on it. I'm like, I couldn't I couldn't take her to the hospital. Her uncle did. Holy shit! <laughs> that's entrepreneurial life for you, man. Yeah, man, that's uh, so crazy. So yeah, so and I I have family here, like my um, like my mom's sisters are here. We have we have yeah. a tight Good, Sri Lankan community. Yeah, here. I know, like I'm Filipino, so like I know our cultures are yeah. not the same, but they're very much the same. Right. We're like 
our families are families, yeah. like no matter what, you yeah. know. So I can totally relate to that. One of my uncles is actually from Sri Lanka. Oh, nice. So my aunt married a Sri Lankan man, or whatever you want to call it. And hey, man. Yeah, We're like, related, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the family the right. family party, right? And uh, he's been bugging me actually to go to because I surf and I'm obsessed with surfing. Right. And he's been bugging me to go to Sri Lanka because it's like man. sweet it's surf. I don't like, surf, but like I know people chill. who surf. Yeah, like, amazing. So what, how, when was the last time you went back? I try to go every year. Nice. Uh, so I went last January. I'm going again next year in January. Yeah. Um, I do a bit of work there. I'm trying to do something in Sri Lanka, like start a business there. But it's it's yeah. the situation right now is. A little oh. shaky there, p- politically. Always, uh, right? Even it, like yeah. my country, they're, they're killing everybody, right? Yeah, like, it's, the, it's the politicians, man. They just yeah. steal people's money and, you know, they, <laughs> yeah, they do whatever they like with it. Yeah, and there's no hiding it. They're no. just like, whatever, come get us. Yeah, like politics is like we can talk about hours about politics. Yeah, I don't know anything it's about politics. Same shit everywhere, right? Yeah. yeah. So what's your favorite sneaker? This is a random question. It's a very tough question, man. It's, um, yeah. Cause I, what are you rocking nowadays? Like what's your go-to pair right now? Right now it's comfort over everything. Okay. So it's ultra boost and like Yeezys, yeah. like 350 boost for right now. Like yeah. that's been in my rotation. Um, but I'd say like all time favorite would have to be like a Jordan one. Cool. Uh, like the bread ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Would be like my, like, See, I've ultimate. never been a bread one fan. Really? Yeah. No. Until like, until as of late, it's just weird. Right. Maybe it's the off-white influence, right? Probably. And like, those are fly, but I've never really been like, yo, I want yeah. uh, like Jordan 1s. Right. I've never, I, I don't know what it is about Jordans. I, don't, I have pairs right. and call it insecurities of like, those, those are the shoes I've never fucking worn, man. Really? Because I wanted them when I was a kid. My parents yeah. wouldn't buy them for me. Now I buy them and I'm like, fuck am I doing with this shit? <laughs> no, but it's like, for me, it's comfort over everything, man. Yeah. Like, I can, and like Ultra Boost are like, great. Yeah, love the shoe. Like, love how I feel in them. Yeah, uh, even like Yeezys, like the three fifties are like great. Like I have the seven hundreds, but yeah. uh, I have like I didn't, I don't have this one. I have the last drop, like yeah, the, the, the more ones. Yeah, yeah. I have, I people have them too. people didn't like them. Like they were sitting oh, there. I think I they're still, still like sitting. They are. I think they're just done. They yeah. this, Adidas just stopped selling them. Oh really? I think so. Oh, okay, cool. Because I saw them at like Sword Stop or something. Oh, okay, like, yeah. So like yeah, yeah, yeah. on like those. They're like ten percent off. Shut up. Fuck, I paid like, yeah. <laughs> I paid retail for them. Yeah, so did I. So. <laughs> like, I haven't even opened the goddamn box. And you haven't? No. You got them too yeah. and, you, and you're and you recovering? Yeah, I told you like, I, I, as long as I don't buy anything resale, I don't feel that bad. Yeah, that's good. You know, like, I've never bought anything resale. Me like, neither. Never. Um, so that that's, that's pretty dope. And so when you, what was the like, what's a shoe that you have right now that's like, yo, I can't even believe I have these. Nothing. Nothing. No, I don't have any gems in my collection because okay. I don't overpay for sneakers. Yeah. Like, coming from me, it's like a little weird because no, you're no, like a sneaker you're a business head. guy, man. No, yeah. man, it's it's like I know how much it costs to make those, so I'm yeah. like I'm not selling those crazy. I'm not paying those crazy resale prices, but yeah. I I do want the pigeon dunks, like okay. um, the Jeff Staple pigeon dunks. That's like yeah. that would be my ultimate like sneaker grail. Wow. Um, and if I, I don't even know what those are. <laughs> you don't know what they are? I'll they they cost like the first sneaker, like lineups and pandemonium, and this first sneaker oh, riot in like, shit. I think New York. I probably have, I, once I see them, maybe I'll know them. them. They're like a, a gray and a pink kind of yeah. um, Jeff Staples, like signature colors. Okay. Uh, with like a pigeon. Like, oh shit, I know uh, exactly what you're talking about now. Yeah. I didn't know that's what they were called, pigeon dunks. Yeah, they call it pigeon dunks. So the, those were, would be like my ultimate sneaker grail, so I would pay top dollar for those if I yeah. can have them. What do you think? What do you think caused all this craziness with sneakers? I'm a little biased, but right. I'll tell you my answer after. Right, I, I just think it's, for me, I think like, especially kids, right? You yeah. wanna have something that other people kinda don't have. Yeah. Um, so if, when you see your friends like rocking the off right, you kinda want them, but like the other kids can't have them. Yeah. And like, it, just, it gets like into like a snowball like, effect and then like, you know, like the hype builds yeah. up. Like Supreme, right? Like Supreme was, a skate store like back in the day no one really cared about, right? I used to go there and, and not have to line up or anything. Like old school skaters like laugh at how much they yeah. pay for Supreme. Yeah, it's true. Cause like I was telling you before we started, I used to go to New York all the time with my family. So I right. used to go to the Supreme store and like buy a t-shirt for 20 bucks and that was right. it. And like, or buy a hat or whatever. And and I didn't have a lot of money, yeah. so I would have to like do some favors for my aunt, do some chores at my aunt's house, get some money and be like, yeah. let's go to the Supreme store yeah. or like, the Eddie Bauer store and stuff. And all, right. all these Eddie brands Bauer. are coming back. Man. <laughs> yeah. like, 
<laughs> but Champion is another story. I hope like, Eddie Bauer never comes back. <laughs> <laughs> is I are they still back? I I, I, I don't know if they're if like I've yeah. seen stores in like the U.S. That's though. funny. Yeah, I hope yeah. Eddie Bauer never. Like comes in back. like a lot of tourist areas, they have yeah. stores. Yeah, it's interesting, but. So what I think, I just think it's hip hop, man. It's Could weird. Be. Like hip hop to me is like, you grew up listening to hip hop, I'm assuming, because this is like hand in hand, right? Street like I, I was like a pretty, like when I like first got into hip hip hop, like obviously like Dre, Snoop, yeah, or yeah. NWA. That was I had to like hide I that shit when I was listening to my parents, like, yeah. like for my parents. And then I went into this like grunge Nirvana, like rock phase, okay. like then went into like, because like, I listened to like kind of everything. Like yeah. I made like, uh, Sabbath's like one of my favorite brand, uh, bands and then yeah. like I also listen to like the Migos so like I'm like yeah. a mixed bag right yeah, I can I can relate to that uh, yeah hip hop I think was like a big influence like yeah and then like Kanye destroying the game really I feel Kanye, like Kanye kill it and everyone hates on Kanye he's a little crazy right now but that's kind of what makes him geniuses are crazy yeah it's true it's true he should what? just stay stay away from Trump though. yeah he should <laughs> that's, he, that's I think he not... talked about how he's like I'm not doing that yeah, anymore it's not good for him <laughs> but um, what what was your thought when like Kanye got into that little spat with Nike and uh, and then all of a sudden left or then Adidas tweeted him right um, for me I personally think like be with someone who supports you is like what like supports your creative vision yeah. right so like adidas was like a good outlet for kanye to be like fuck you nike like i'm yeah going with adidas and like he he grew adidas into what it is today yeah. like Nike's i stuck. remember like I four mean, years ago stuck. kids wouldn't fuck with adidas no. like kids, europeans only right, right? exactly and and like even kids these days who wear Yeezys or Ultra Boost, they don't have a fucking clue what like shell toes are yeah, or what, what Stan weird. Smiths are. They're like, what the fuck are those? Like yeah. they're they're like classic Adidas. Like that's uh, what uh, made Adidas uh, old school OG like a real sneakerhead in my book would still have those in my collection, yeah. right? Like in, yeah. in their collection, I have like a ton Dude, of like shell toes. Parents, in my so when I I remember I bought my parents bought me a Stan right. Smiths. I was like grade six. Right. So happy. Yeah. Like, white, you know, fresh, clean. And, and I had, I don't know if you did this too, uh, what are they called? The whitening sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they would just I get did, ruined bro, yeah. all the time. I used to paint them white and be like, yo, I look fly again. <laughs> that was my, my Stan Smith like yeah. memory of like, I remember getting a pair of those. Yeah, man. Like for Kanye, it's like, like be with who supports you, right? Yeah, like, like And that. Adidas like supported him. Yeah. Supported him. Like it, it, they're still like, you know, they still haven't like kicked him out, obviously, because like yeah. all that Kanye dough would like go away, right? Yeah, I think it, uh, I know Adidas, First time ever in life, right. went over Nike's in Nike stock, which was right. which was crazy. I, I personally think, just from a observation right. of culture, mm -hmm. once Kanye left Nike, went to Adidas, it changed the game. Mm -hmm. Like it, it leveled the playing field of like, yo. And then it all of a sudden Puma's back. Puma signed Rihanna, and like Puma, yeah, he Puma really because I don't know if you followed all the stuff when Kanye mm -hmm. was like. Nike was like, we only give those deals to athletes. Right. <laughs> Kanye's like, I'm a musical athlete. I was dying when he said that shit. Amazing. Yeah, only I love he that. could come up with that shit, right? Yeah. And like it's true. Like it's it's yeah. not just athletes that move the game. Like not just, anymore, no. right? Like and and that's part of the reason why I built this podcast. Because right. not only athletes, not only rappers. Right. It's entrepreneurs that right. are like. You, you should look at like K Swiss's marketing strategy. Do yeah. you know anything about K Swiss? Uh, yeah, I remember having a pair. I also whitened those too. So, so they are like they're positioning their brand as the entrepreneurs oh show. yes you're right with Gary V yeah, yeah 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 he's the, the case shit. guys were just in here like half an hour ago oh, before you shit. came yeah, yeah. we should have came yeah. and videotaped that, that so they dope. did like a quick vlog with us um, oh nice like a five ten minute vlog yeah. with us and uh, yeah. that's dope man yeah so like I didn't know that though that they're positioning themselves yeah. as the entrepreneur that's definitely a little weird, but yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, it, and it works like with Gary Vee behind it. Yeah, like Gary he Vee's moves you right? right? Like people buy the shoe for the, the idea. Like of... I'll, I like, I'm, I'm interrupting. Wait, wait. But Kanye, to me, whatever he does now, whatever he does. But when I was in high school mm -hmm. and listening to Kanye and like Spaceship and all these tracks. College dropout. Con Classic, bro. That's what actually made me believe in myself right oddly enough yeah so that's why that's part of the reason why i'll buy his shoe I'm right like, look man this guy helped me get to where i am even mm. though i'm not boys with him or anything like that right so i, I can understand now with gary v he yeah. helps a lot of fucking people yeah. like get over the mental hump of yeah of whatever they were trying to do it's, yeah like whenever like i'm in like a fucking you know in a dark place i listen to gary v like yeah i have him like 
uh, on the back, like even yeah. when I'm working, like it's like he's, he's amazing. He's yeah, such he's a great guy. Steroids, yeah. Right? yeah, I, I was at it. Uh, I got. Crazy enough, that's how Andrew and I met. I got him into uh, an event like Case and Hustle. So oh, I, really? I had a, nice. an association with them. And then Case and Hustle, them. you must be knowing Laura then. Sorry? Laura. Uh, I don't know. She works with them. so it's I was. Probably. I just started walking. Oh, and then, really? And then one of the guys invited me to buy a VIP ticket to get some youth in. And I was right, like, right. I'll just buy a ticket. I'm not going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, then they called me back. So they need help with getting getting students in. Right. Now they have to, and I was like, okay, yeah. I'll get people in. Yeah. So I got almost like, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 oh, nice. students in. But a bunch of them I got to meet and then some of them got to meet Gary Vee too. So I was nice. cool. But I met Gary Vee years ago. He was still popular, but nothing right. like what nothing he is like now. now. Yeah. And that was cool at a VIP dinner. He's the one that actually kind of set me straight where he's like, dude, stop buying dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you know, he goes, that's the difference between you and me when I was your age. Right. I didn't buy dumb shit. Right. He's like, he's like, stop buying dumb shit. And I was like, and it obviously didn't turn off like that. Right. Right. It, it, it just like, it's it slowly does, coming right? up. Right. Cause yeah. if I, if, if I didn't have that conversation with someone I respected, yeah. Yeah. I would probably buy, I would have probably bought yeah. resale. I think I've, things. I've like slowed down as well since I opened like a sneaker business. Cause before I was buying, I was buying everything, bro. Like vans, like Converse, like yeah. anything, like any colorway that I didn't have, I bought yeah. it. And especially like some stores, like you find it like on sale for like, like what, 40, 50 yeah. bucks, right? Like it's so much easier to like buy. Than yeah, like especially if you're in a position. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, like now I only, I think I buy like what I really like, although consistently I have been buying everything from the last Yeezy drops. Yeah, me too. We're in the uh, same boat, except for I don't, I'm not surrounded by it consistently. Like this is beautiful. <laughs> no, but like the more you see it, you kind of like the addiction kind of goes away because that makes like, sense. Like, you know, like, like for me, especially, I think it was more of like the addiction was like actually purchasing it, but like for sneaker tab and for the store, I get to purchase it using uh. the company money but for someone else, not uh, for me, right? Like, oh, so that, you still get the high. I still get the high. Shit, that makes sense, yeah. man. So, so it, that's yeah. helped me like slow down. Yeah, yeah. So that's why, like, I I can relate to that. Where the sneakers, right? When I buy them, I feel good. Like you were saying before, yeah. like you you buy something that no one can get, blah blah. blah. So my cousin in New York used to hook us up. That was fucking right. Make me feel good, and I would get stuff on eBay. But now, as I've kind of gone down that road a lot, yeah. the high doesn't last very long. Right, so that's why it brings you full circle to the yeah. podcast. Where I'm like, look, man, I like hearing the stories yeah. of the come up, you know. So now you're you've been here for like almost what June, July, uh, yeah. five months. Five, yeah, almost five months. Five months, yeah, six yeah. months. And are people coming in, or is yeah, just we like have, we have foot traffic, like better than I thought it would. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you're still like dependent on online, which is fantastic. I think that's a we cool, do like store moves units. Yeah. So. Uh, a lot of the neighbors, like the neighborhood kids, neighborhood, I, yeah. I guess, young adults or youth, yeah. they come into the store and they purchase shit because, not because they want stuff, but because they want to support the yeah, that's new dope, neighborhood man. store, right? Like, I, so, I think the way you did it is the best way to do it nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like everyone thinks you need a store. Yeah. Like, no, you need online attention. You do, yeah, you do need a store to, because we're direct with all the brands we work with. So. Okay. You got to keep the brands happy, so they um, want certain brands brand. want uh, yeah, a brick I've and mortar this. store to be like. Because in want their mind, most of the time, like people who are in like powerful positions in companies, no offense to all people. Yeah, they're but fucking they're old. like <laughs> fucking old, right? Yeah. They're dinosaurs, right? They think so, people still want to pull up and look at shoes when they're like, no, it's Instagram exactly. fucking thirty pairs of shoes. Exactly. So sometimes when like the sales rep actually wants to give us an account, like. Especially, like, I'm not naming any brands, but yeah. some of the brands that we don't have. Yeah. Their boss, who's like a 60 year old uh, white guy, would say, Oh, no, this is they don't guys. have a store. Exactly. Or, like, oh, they have a store, but they, they wouldn't even like come in here to like check out the vibe, right? Uh, They'd be like, Oh, they're not like a fucking footlocker. Foot yeah. So they're not like gonna move any unit. So, like, our $50,000 buy a year is probably nothing to them. Yeah. But, like, the sad part is those brands grew the, from like Indies, yeah. right? It's so weird. Times are gonna change for them once they're out of their seats. Yeah, like I mean, like we're pretty happy with the brands that we work with and yeah. they support us, we support them whenever we can. So we have like a great relationship with brands like Puma, New Balance, Saucony, yeah. K Swiss, like Ewing, cool. um, like on the clothing side, like Alpha, Quality, which is like a brand from Canada, from Montreal. Okay. Uh, Vitaly, which is a Toronto brand. Yeah, I've um, seen that brand everywhere online. Yeah. 
they're popping, man. So we're, we're pretty happy with where we are. Awesome, man. Uh, with the brands. And so tell me about how you curate the shoes. It's it takes it, it takes a bit of you there's know trial and error. Yeah, there, there's a lot. Do people um, com- like? I don't want to encourage anyone to be like, yo, I don't like these shoes. No, no, no. But it's like, what's some, your some, policy with that? We we do we do returns if people you want to keep people happy. Yeah, we do it unless it's like a ridiculous request. Like, yeah. oh, um, we we try to we try to like you know uh, accommodate their requests. I'd yeah. say, um, but it's like people. Signing up for a mystery subscription, they know what they're kind of getting into. Yeah. Um, That's so crazy. I'm because also, our audience oh, is not man. also like a hype beast audience, right? They're like people who are they actually want to get be. into sneaker collecting yeah. or who kind of don't know what's cool or kind of don't oh. know how to put together an outfit, right? Like Sneaker Shop launched this new package called the Dope Fit, which is like a head to toe package where it's like 200 bucks. Like you get a you get like a good Alpha Industries jacket, which costs 200 bucks to buy. Yeah. Itself, oh, shit. Yeah. a pair of shoes, like a jacket Wait, or a hoodie. So you're given an outfit for 200 bucks, yep. where the jacket itself costs 200 bucks. Yeah, that's fucking bomb. <laughs> and these people don't know to. No offense, they don't have their own flavor style. Yeah, so. yeah. Some guys don't know how to dress. Like I mean, like it's. Yeah, it, like most guys don't know how to dress. Right, yeah. and like no offense to them, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Like I have but a they business want. because <laughs> yeah. because that's a thing, right? And they think that the brand. Anyway, I'm going down. A, I don't want to hate on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, man. Like if you put a, put a, put a nice a nice outfit together, like it doesn't have to be like all branded. You can yeah. fucking go to um, yeah, and then you can swap. Like, yeah, like yeah. You, you can go like shopping at Walmart and Fuck put a nice yeah. outfit. That's why I tell people right? all the time, man. Like you just. And you gotta own it, right? Yeah. And it's it's all about confidence, right? Yeah, it's how we wear it. So yeah, that's dope, man. So you're you're doing the sneakers and then the whole outfit. What did you what is it called? Uh, sneaker top dope fit. Sneaker dope top dope fit. fit. Yeah, sick, man. I love the idea. Yeah. Because there's also gonna be people that are just lazy. Yeah. And be like, yeah, they don't want to go to the mall, yeah. right? Like, and I don't want to think like, yo, yeah. send me something fly. Like, yeah. that's actually the now that I put it together, there's that's like having a stylist exactly. as a as an artist or like a celebrity. Yeah. Most of these people don't dress themselves. Mm. They have stylists that, that's why I never understood that song, that new song. No <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Does that mean they don't have stylists or? The French probably? He uh, has a stylist. I guarantee he does. Yeah. That's why I was confused. He prob- at least ha- he, they probably have people like choose, recommending yeah, exactly. stuff for them. Choose like, the, from here. He has like 50 jackets picked too. Yeah, oh, exactly. Right? That's exactly it. But I never understood that track. No. But uh, good song though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the sneak disc, the Kanye. In there. Yeah. Yeah that, was like, yeah, that was a weird fucking. Was sneak check disc. silver stripes in that? Or? No, that's no. in sicko mode. That's in sicko mode. Yeah, right, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the. That's a don't wear no three fifties yeah. around me. I was like, oh. He all he wore like those. Uh, can't remember what shoes they were. I, I think uh, um, the the blush. The, the, oh, he wore like a, a D, like a regular Adidas shoe, like oh, a two dollar to to like a courtside game. Oh, and then everyone thought he was signing with Adidas. Yeah. I remember all these like weird rumors. I was I'm like, sure he was gonna sign with I Adidas. Agree. Yeah. I think so too because he has no creativity in the Jordans. Right, like, the Jordans like the, the OVO Jordans, they're Jordans. Yeah, with just an OVO lo- yeah. logo on it. They're yeah. they are what they are. Drake has all the fucking clout in the world yeah. right now, but like I'm sure he wants to put his own creativity in yeah. that shit, right? So. And Nike's not about that. Not <laughs> so, about that life. <laughs> yeah. But so, what are you most excited about? Like, what's coming up now? Like Black Friday? Do you have like some drop coming up? No, we don't do like the whole traditional do good, fucking. Fuck that shit. You know, like fifty percent off the whole store thing. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, it works for some businesses, but yeah, like, you don't for, need it. No, I don't. We don't do that because I personally, the brands that we work with, we don't want to devalue the product, right? Cool. Um, yeah. Because a lot of the times, like what I've seen, my personal shopping experience before I became like a sneaker entrepreneur, yeah, uh, like a serial entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> oh right? shit! I you know? like that serial entrepreneur. <laughs> um, Holy smokes! Uh, my, we'll, we'll get some footage of that. No, one, we can't see what this giant ass <laughs> tub of, of, of ice cream of cereal. And I still, I'm still fascinated by it. Yeah, like when I was buying off retail, I never bought anything full price because there was always something on, on sale. sale. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, that hurts the brand. Yeah. A lot of these brands don't understand it. They sell in bulk to like big chain stores and be like, yeah. oh, here's like 70% off, like wholesale, go yeah. fucking do your thing. But it like hurts the brand on the long run, right? Yeah. So I personally don't want, I, I don't take, take, we don't take anything more than ten percent off of anything. Oh, good for you. Yeah, I like that. You you know your value, right? Yeah. Your your real your bread and butter is the subscription. I'm assuming, mm. right? That's awesome. 
Because people don't realize like that is, people think that, you know, what you see in a, a storefront is actually your bread and butter. Just mm. like people think that the real estate stuff is right. like, like something, but really the on, everything comes online. Yeah. And I mean, it, it ties nicely, like the, the yeah. store and the subscription ties nicely into this like big, nice cycle where like stuff that you know come into the store after like a month it goes into the subscription yeah. so we have like a nice system going because of the two businesses so yeah i mean it, it works in our favor cool now i keep looking at those how are those man are they this like the, the zebras they are a little tighter than usual oh, okay so i usually wear a 10 or nine and a half um, yeah. so these are tens and they're a little tight around the did you just get those because they just really yeah, yeah i just got those yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stop we need to text her like don't buy that shit. <laughs> yeah uh they're, they're pretty good man like i like the i, I like the way it looks like i like yeah. obviously they're comfortable more comfortable than other shoes though they're yeah. a little tighter uh, but it's 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 a hit and miss with all the easy drops because sometimes they fit bigger sometimes yeah that's what i've heard because I've, I've got a couple pairs of like what are those 350s right yeah, 350, yeah. and then um yeah so i have the original ones and then the black with the red stripe right then, like the ogs yeah i don't know if they're ogs yeah they're like the older like, yeah v ones the, the v ones right yeah, yeah, yeah. Or are they V? I don't know. Shit's okay. confusing though. There's so much happening. I only have V2s because I got into like Yeezys pretty late. Right? Yeah, so did I. When yeah. people start showing me like the Red October's for 4,000 4, bucks. Like I, I, I didn't like them until I started wearing them because they're like super comfortable. Yeah, like I like the thought. way they looked. I always liked how they looked, but I'm like, I'm not dropping 300 out. bucks on it. Especially yeah. when I first started my business, I'm like, that money could go elsewhere, right? Absolutely. It's a, it's a giant box of cereal. Yeah.